Welcome back to the channel and today we have six new knives to check out. We're going to get started first with a brand new Jack Wolf model. Here's the stunning tube right here and this is the sharpshooter jack and this is the second time this one's come around but it's been a while since this model has came back and of course he's changed it up a little bit. My particular one is all blacked out with the black titanium bolsters, black blade, black back spring, and arctic storm fat carbon. I think it looks outstanding. You can pinch these to open. And unfortunately, I don't still have my sharpshooter because I gifted it to a friend of mine. But it's nice to have one back in the collection. This is only a first impressions. I will do a, a small review on this one since I've already done one on the sharpshooter. It won't be a full length review. You also have S90V on these and I just think that looks beautiful. It has a very snappy walk and talk. Yeah. Let's listen to this. <laughs> so nice. Uh, like I said, since I don't have the original, uh, but I do have my Benny's clip. So it's a little smaller than the Benny's clip. And then my other blacked out. This is the laid back jack with the Cure Night scales. So it's a little bit bigger than the laid back jack. Like I said, I'll do specs and more size comparisons whenever I do the full video. Any knives that are available right now, I will have those linked down in the description as well. This one, I don't know offhand the release date on this one, but I'll try to remember to put that down in the description. Usually I try to put out my full video a little bit before that drop. So while we're on slip joints, we have one from a fellow YouTube creator. This is the design from Advanced Knife Bro, and this is his stump lifter. I'm pretty sure it's a Blade HQ exclusive, and uh, these come in at 120 bucks. I think the OEM was Kubi on these, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong, sorry if I am. This particular one has the denim, blue denim micarta. You can also get it with yellow or green bone covers. Has stainless steel bolsters, and it has his beer mug inlay that is perfectly done no high spots at all nice contouring on those scales everything's nice and tight and flush you have a long pull on this side not a super super strong pull on it and nice drop point blade with a hollow grind 154 cm steel it's more like a spear point you even got a sharpening chawl there I was mainly wanting to support Advanced Knife Bro. He's a super nice guy. These are still available as the time I'm shooting this video. And like I said, I will have it all linked down in the description. Full height, hollow grind. Feels decently thin. Should slice pretty well. Uh, it's flush in the half stop position. And then on this side, you have a bottle opener and a flathead scraper pry bar whatever you want and this i'm pretty sure is also in 154 cm steel pretty cool i love seeing people in the community designing their own knives it's so so cool last year and this year i think definitely the year of the knife community designers no gaps in the micarta at all they did a really good job on the fitment in this one this next one, in my opinion, is, is an outstanding value. I have one coming from Monterey Bay Knives, and this is the Mini Old Guard Clip Point. This is the more affordable of the Old Guard series. It has contoured G10 scales, G10 backspacer, and a tip-up wire pocket clip. Thumb stud deployment. Snappy. It is riding on brass bushings. Got a very sexy looking clip point with a long top swedge up here to thin out that tip some. And I don't mind this type of clip point because it's got a low tip. It sits underneath that center line of that pivot or it might be right there in the center line. Just meaning that I can still get that tip down into things to do drag cuts. And then you have enough straight edge to, you know, do slicing in hand cuts. So far, 
It feels like it's going to be really comfortable, but I haven't started my testing on it. Nice satin finish. And these are only 60 bucks. The blade steel on them is on the Tang 14C28N. Love it. Now the next one, we have the Miguron Carex. And I reviewed this a while back on the channel. This is the V1 and I love the knife. This is the more premium one that I think was like 200 bucks or something like that. It's got titanium scales with this blue carbon fiber inlays on both sides, mill titanium pocket clip, gear titanium backspacer. And this one's a front flipper that functions well. Love that blade shape. It's a very useful utilitarian blade shape. Easily use that tip for things to do fine detail work. M390 steel on this one. Very smooth action. Excellent reverse flicker. You can even choke up on it. I enjoyed this one. And now there's also a V2 that looks even nicer than this one. It's got some micro milling on the titanium. And I just haven't got to pick that one up. Maybe if I sell this one, I will try to pick that one up. Now... They have released a budget version of the Carex. This one has contoured micarta scales. They're black canvas micarta on this one. They have blue and maybe green, I think. And instead of a front flipper, you have a traditional flipper on this one. Uh, it's got some jimping. It rockets out. Same beautiful blade. The more premium one's going to be more streamlined because you don't have a flipper tab at the bottom like that. I don't care, you know, that doesn't bother me any, but you have somewhat of the same blade. Uh, this one has a little bit different swedge than the budget one. You have a milled titanium pocket clip, geared black G10 backspacer, stainless steel liners. You even have a little landing pad for when you flip the knife. Functional row of jumping when you're behind that flipper. You can kind of choke up, but it's really more of a large sharpening choil. And that's my only real complaint. If you look, that plunge line goes right to the back of that edge. So it's probably going to start to create a smile back here once I sharpen it up. I would have to, I could fix it myself though, because that stop pin is sitting in front of that flipper. So it's not going to mess up anything. You have internal milling on the stainless steel liners to bring down the weight. Excellent access to the lock because this comes down a little bit further. You got a nice chamfer there. Nice and smooth out of the box. That thumb hole works outstanding. I can flip it out like that as well. I can slow roll it if I want. Yeah, this is an excellent knife. Right now these are going for 60 bucks on Amazon. A 14C 28M blade steel. I'm sure that price will probably come down a little bit once these have been out for a while. This next one, this company had reached out to me several times, but I wanted to see what others had to say about it before I even thought about checking it out. This is coming from Daily Carry Co. and this is the Magblade V3. This is a very interesting knife. If you've not seen this before, very interesting. As you can see, it's very streamlined, titanium scales. Every, the blade sits flush into the handle. No pocket clip. That's the only downfall in this one for me is no pocket clip. Now, this almost acts as a, like a balisong that has a magnet closure. So what you do is, is you see how you have this side right here and you see the little line. You just put your thumb right there, push these two to disengage the two scales. You see there's magnets inside the scales. And I'm not going to, you can usually, you can flip it kind of like a ballast song if you know what you're doing. And once this comes together, now it's locked up. As long as you're holding that, you should be able to do whatever you want to do. You have a Tanto blade, M390 steel. Now, it's not going to be the sliciest knife because you have, you know, such a short grind height. But it still feels like it's ground decently thin. Pretty robust tip there. And then to close it, you just separate those scales. And voila. Uh, definitely interesting. I'm definitely going to play around with this and see if I can get it. I've seen uh, yeah, I've seen somebody that can do it really well. And it looks like a, a butterfly knife whenever they're... looks like a bow song whenever they're flipping it. And I think these go for $200. I, I don't think that's a bad price for everything that's going on here. 
I would have loved to see either a pocket clip or a Kydex sheath for it or something. Now this last one I'm super excited about. We have another design coming from a fellow YouTuber, Mr. Casey Sparon from the Knives Fast Channel. And his company is Tempest Knives. Y'all have seen this one most recently on the channel. This is his Jetstream, and I absolutely love the Jetstream. It's got contour titanium, nice micro milling. You got this minimal flipper that works great. You got a highly versatile drop point blade, nice stone wash finish, beautiful action. This was one of the most ergonomic Tempest Knives model that I've tested in a while. 154 cm. I think he may. I don't, I'm not. So, I'm not certain on this, but I think they may have some. Of the, he may still have some. He's left. I could be wrong there. Now this one was OEM by Kubi Knives. Well, we have a brand new model coming from Tempest Knives, and that is the Tempest Knives Fractus. This thing is stunning. The OEM on the Fractus is Concept Knives. And I got to say, they have been doing some excellent, excellent OEM work. So this particular one, you have a titanium frame, beautifully contoured scales. I don't know if I better show you this because uh, it's probably not going to come across. But you have some beautiful micro milling on those titanium scales. You have a Arctic Storm fat carbon inlay and it's on both sides. Love that. You have a mill titanium pocket clip that's deep carry because it wraps over the top right here and you will be able to flip it around. Now this is first impressions. I'm going to do a full review on this one so I may get some things wrong in this impression but I just wanted to show it to y'all. You have Casey's signature pivot. It's a car rim pivot. I think it looks awesome. Titanium backspacer. Sorry if you can hear my dog. And then his signature cockpit style window right there action on this thing is remarkable once again you have a highly versatile drop point blade forward finger choil this one is in cpm s 90 v i've tested one other knife from concept in s 90 v and i was pretty impressed it's got two sets of jimping you got jimping if you're choked back and then if you if you're choking up you got some jimping there as well or if you need to do something, you know, in this manner like this in a pinch grip, you know, to, to do a little drag finesse cut, you can. The jimping is definitely functional. It grabs a hold of the thumb nicely. It's got a nice satin finish. Now, there will be some changes to the final production. And once I know all those, I will let y'all know in the full review. Only thing that I do know as of right now that I can recall, and sorry, my memory is terrible, is that... He is hoping for a late January, early February pre-order. So if you're not following Tempest Knives on Instagram, definitely do yourself a favor and do so, so you know when that pre-order is going to happen. Also, you could keep track of them on the TempestKnives.com site. That will be listed down in the description. If you have a jet stream, give you a size reference with the jet stream. Go pivot to pivot. These are pretty much identical, maybe. I don't know. The Fractus may be a smidge longer. I think it is. Fractus looks like it's a hair longer. Let's see another quick... I'm going to do all this in the full video, but you know, just give you an idea. There's a pivot to pivot with Don Cherry Rat 1. So it's smaller than the Rat 1. If you go butt to butt, you can see the length difference. So yeah, I'm very interested to hear y'all thoughts on this one. I don't know if you would consider this a bolster lock, but this... Fat carbon inlay is acting as an over travel right there. You also do have a hardened stainless insert. Super smooth action on it. Yeah, he God. Every every Tempest knife that I've tested, the ergonomics were outstanding. Are y'all as excited as I am? And like I said, stay tuned for my full review and testing. Well, that does it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down below. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Hey! Ah!